Lately, I've been attending a bunch of developer events because I love meeting new people and making meaningful connections. But there is one problem. There are hundreds of people at each event and I end up interacting with dozens of them. Some of these interactions are incredibly enjoyable. We exchange ideas, share laughs, even swap contact information, but ironically, in the rush of these unforgettable moments, the specifics of their work, shared interests, or even those standout moments that made the conversation or just the event in general special are forgotten. So how do I solve this? Well, introducing Dub Dub Circle, my 2025 Swift Student Challenge submission. Dub Dub Circle is the best place to store details about every event you attend, the people you meet, the memories you capture, and journal about the interactions you had at the event. Let me give you a quick walkthrough. Alright, let's begin with the onboarding process. I'll enter my name and set up my profile. It'll ask me what platforms I develop for. That'll be Mac, iPhone, uh, iPad and Vision Pro. And then I can swipe right. What frameworks do I use? Swift UI. Upload a profile photo. I did that earlier, so it's here already. And you're all set. Start exploring. Now, a sample has been added for us to explore for WWDC 2025, but let me show you the add event experience. So we can set up a new event here. Let's just say um, this is exploring the Swift Student Challenge. We can give today's date. We can choose a location using the Apple Maps framework uh, or MapKit. And we can also toggle between whether it's an online event or an offline one. Let's just keep it the way it is. Click Save. Now it's been added. And this is how it looks. This is my Exploring the Swift Student Challenge circle, and I can add the people I met at the event here. For example, I can click plus, I can add their name, I can add their details, and I can also add their business card. I'll demo the business card edition here before I move on to the actual event. I can scan a business card or select from photos. I select from photos, and I can choose a business card, and it'll automatically populate the details using the Vision and Vision Kit framework. And we can also choose someone we met at another event. For example, here, I'll choose Greg Joswiak. And I can add him to my circle. Now, let's move back to WBDC25. You can see your own profile photo at the center and wrapped around you are people and developers you met at those events. You can see I've added quite a lot of people already in my WW25 circle. I can swipe right to see them all using this custom circle view that I created myself. Clicking on one reveals their details. We can see notes we've written about them, their contact details, what company they work at, what platforms they're developing for, with which framework, the city they live in, and a few other details if we choose to add them. There's an option for a list view as well as a circle view. So we can switch between the two anytime we want. And we can always add a new attendee if we wish to do so. By clicking this button on the bottom left, we can also add memories of the event. For example, I've added Craig Federighi's epic run here. And we can also add a couple of other events that we've taken at each event and save them as memories here along with descriptions. And we can share them or delete them instantly right from the buttons at the bottom. And finally, by clicking the button on the bottom right, you can also write journal entries about people you meet. For example, here, I've added a music kit workshop with Rudrang, keynote highlights with Tim and Craig, a chat with Paul Hudson, and just an extended description of a sunset at Apple Park. You can write long journals here to express yourself and make sure you don't forget these moments at these events. So that's Dub Dub Circle, my 2025 Swift Student Challenge submission. I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I had fun making the app. Over the course of the next few months, I will be iterating on this version I have at hand and releasing it to the App Store as a free open source app. The version you saw today is just the beginning and there is so much more to come. I'm excited to see developers just like myself using this app to enhance their networking at these events. Thank you for watching.